with bare knuckle boxing making a comeback or really making a come first. Nope, that's not right. With bare knuckle boxing becoming a thing now, a lot of people are talking about the factors involved in fighting someone with your bare hands. In this video, we're gonna talk about practicing bare knuckle and whether or not you should. And if you don't wanna watch the video, the answer is no, you shouldn't. All these nerds that do like Wing Chun, Wing Chun and Kung Fu and all this ho hokey pokey nonsense, they always talk about like iron palm and iron fist and like hardening the bones in your hands you know so that they don't break when you throw strikes this is fucking nonsense the way you increase the bone density in your hands is by loading them uh it'll happen with your grip training um when you load them with weights and stuff like that we have lots of videos on like pull-ups and grip training for mma and self-defense and fighting in general but if you want to harden them if you really want to build bone density hitting the heavy bag is the way to do it but you do it in wraps and gloves well you're not going to have time to wrap your hands in a street fight. Now these dorks spend all this time banging on bags of sand or like blocks or whatever, and that's time that they're not spending on, I don't know, range, timing, developing real power. You can't punch barehanded with real power. You should wrap your hands, and one recommendation, I recommend these knuckle guards in addition to your hand wraps. Uh, I'll put links in the description below to the stuff that I use. Training time is a finite thing. I'm going to use it to develop things that are useful. Um, power, speed, range, timing, actual techniques that I would use on a person's face. Now, does that mean I never hit the bag with bare hands? Hopefully the nerds all clicked away before they got to this part of the video because I'm going to tell you guys a secret. There is something you should do bare knuckle on the bag, but it's not what you think. Speed, power, range is not what you should be practicing bare knuckle on the bag. More about changing your mindset about these punches. So if I'm throwing a hook and my hook is kind of whack, right? In gloves, you can get away with this in gloves, but we gotta make sure, this will remind us, and we're not gonna go hard, this will remind me, are my punches landing how they're supposed to? And I can be a little more deliberate and make sure that I'm landing at the right angles. Now, as far as techniques to use while bare knuckle boxing, we did a whole series of bare knuckle boxing clinch type techniques, and I'll link a playlist up there as well as in the description below if you wanna check that stuff out. See, my range was a little fucked up there because the glove wasn't on. That tells me something. This notion that if you don't practice bare knuckle, you're gonna break your hands in a real fight. If we're talking self-defense, like the only reason that I would be fighting someone like this, or maybe for like the right price, I don't care. I will break my hands, all right? I'll break my hands. If I break my hands in the fight, I'll fucking I'll Uriah favor that motherfucker. But this iron palm, iron fist, iron anything really is kind of fucking nonsense and if you watch any videos of guys talking about it generally they they look and sound like pussies and there's not really any videos of them beating people up or even getting beaten up just you being in a fight even if you've gotten your ass kicked a bunch of times i'd be more apt to listen to you don't listen to dorks who never have been in a fight about fighting you shouldn't listen to anyone on the internet about fighting unless it's me you know we've covered that before if I don't do this for a while and I walk over and I go to hit the back and I try to see how hard I hit, uh, I start to notice I'm not exactly as lined up as I thought I was. Lining the punches up is really important. We wanna land with these front two knuckles. Now, I know that there's some of these dorks that do this you know, vertical fist thing and some people advocate hitting with all four knuckles. I don't know. What I do know is that from an architectural standpoint, these two knuckles line up with the bones in my forearm. These do not. So when force is applied here, there's this torsional, is that right? Effect. And when you talk about a boxer's break or boxer's fracture, where's it always at? So if you're thinking about self-defense, or maybe you want to be a bare knuckle boxer, or maybe you're a street fighter, which no, you're not, because there's no such thing as a street fighter. You're just a fucking criminal. These are some considerations that you need to make mentally but I wouldn't devote a ton of time to this because if you get injured or hurt, that's time that you're not gonna be spending on training or I don't know, like hanging out with your kids and shit. This is something you practice 
occasionally, just as a reminder, am I am I making sense with my strikes? Am I on target? Am I not compensating or getting away with things because I'm wearing gloves? You'll need to learn that you have to back off of these punches when you're barehanded. If you want more fitness tips, self-defense techniques, gear reviews, as well as concepts and principles that make you hard to hurt, make sure you check out the subscribe button right there and check out the description below. I'll link to the playlists and stuff that I mentioned in this video.